Grace is a play about a girl called Grace who is non-speaking, who's about probably 12 or 13. So in a stage in her life where a lot of things are changing. And it tells the story of Grace and her family um, after Grace's dad has died. Grace's dad was really the person that Grace communicated with most closely in her family. And when he's gone, in Grace's grief and in her mum's grief, Grace and mum really, really struggle to communicate together. Which sounds like a very sad play, but it's actually <laughs> full, of, <laughs> full of lots of hope as well and, and some magical moments. There are three performers, Eleanor Walt, Grace Kiley and Brian Burroughs, who play Grace and her mom and the ghost of her dad. Dad as a character is present on stage as a ghost talking to the audience um, and he really guides us through this story. Grace is a play, it came from another play that I had written where we represented a non-speaking person and a lot of people who saw that play said they had never seen a non-speaking person represented on stage and so I started to think about why that was um, and that it's really important that that changes. Some of the big conversations we've been having in graffiti, who's not here? Who's missing? So when Jodie presented the idea of Grace as a non-speaking character, it felt right there are lots of different people who maybe feel that theatre isn't always accessible to them for lots of different reasons. We have tried to creatively embed as much access as possible into the production of Grace. It's written as a relaxed performance to allow people who might have sensory challenges or other differences that make it hard for them to access a kind of typical theatre going experience. We've also embedded captioning into all of the performances. We are working with an audio describer and with an ISL interpreter to do some interpreted performances of Grace. We've created a tactile book for Grace for people with different sensory needs or with visual impairments who can engage with the story and with the play in a tactile way. To make any production you need some really brilliant people around you. We always start kind of sitting at the table for the first read-through. We're trying to understand the characters, trying to imagine the world that we're going to present to an audience in five weeks' time. It's a really <laughs> exciting and scary moment. After every performance, we always have a, a talk-back session with the audience. One of the young people in the youth theatre said, it was quite sad at times, but all of the best books and stories have some sadness in them. I think that's one of the things that a piece of theatre can do is, is move people or to open yourself up to a new way of thinking. And I think that this is a piece of theatre that does all of those things.